The purpose of this short video is to show how SalesPad sales transfers can be used to quickly and easily create an inventory transfer transaction in Dynamics GP. In this scenario, we're going to transfer inventory from our inventory location into a customer consignment location where we still own the inventory but it's existing in the customer site. We use a standard uh, SalesPad sales document to create this transfer. It queues up a transaction that can then be posted in Dynamics GP. The primary benefit of using a sales document to originate the transfer is that it allows us to use SalesPad workflow and we can evaluate workflow rules. It allows us to print picking and shipping paperwork and it also allocates the inventory at the point of sales document entry. So I'm going to do a quick search for my customer Superfoods Plus. I'll open up their customer card and I'll just originate a sales document and in my case I've set up a document type actually called the transfer order so I'll use that. The first thing I'm going to do is choose to ship this to consignment location 1. This is actually an address code associated with this customer so it's going to go to their address but it's going to be my inventory. I'll then add a couple of line items to the order that we want to transfer and then I can release this into workflow just like I would any standard sales order in Dynamics GP. It can trigger a print of picking paperwork, shipping paperwork, it evaluates workflow, it allocates the inventory, and you can see the document is now moved into a transfer queue or batch. By virtue of the fact that it's sitting in that batch, I can search on it through uh, inventory transfer. So We'll say that my uh, warehouse has now picked this order. It's ready to actually execute the transfer. So I'm going to go to Sales Transfers. I'm going to search on the batch transfer, although I could look for a specific sales document or for uh, transactions associated with a specific customer. So I'll do the search. You can see here are the two items and line items from this transfer order that I want to transfer. And at the point that I hit Create Transfer, it actually moves this sales document to history and it creates a transfer transaction in Dynamics GP, in this case the transfer uh, transaction ending in 187. If I refresh this screen you can see those lines are gone. If I go back to the customer's card and go to their sales document history, I'll just search on the letter T, we'll be able to see here's the transfer order that I just executed. Uh, T1013. Uh, so we have visibility into this document in sales his history in the customer card. And if we go to Dynamics GP uh, to the batches screen, you can see we've created a batch, just a transfer entry batch, that has this transaction in it and ready to post. If you have questions on this or any other SalesPad functions, feel free to contact us it's at sales at salespad.net or you can go to www.salespad.net 